This video will give you a brief overview of network rendering using Octane from Maya. It is not meant to be a substitute for the documentation. I do recommend that you go to otoy.com and check out in the documentation the overview of how to set up network rendering properly. Uh, this has a bit more detail than I can offer in this video. However, it's very short and easy to follow. In order to render in a network, you'll need several things. You'll need a master machine. The master will be the one that has Maya installed and uh, allows you to control the process of rendering. It's the machine that's going to be sending out the packets of information to all of the other machines on the network that are enabled, allowing them to help you render the scene. The other machines on the network are referred to as slaves. They need to have a licensed version of Octane standalone installed on each machine, and that version of Octane should match the version that you're using for Maya. If you're not sure what version you're using for Maya, you can go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, open up the Plugin Manager, and check out the info on Octane Plugin. So in other words, on this machine, I'm using the plugin version 3.08.1. So you want to make sure that you have a matching version of Octane on all of the slave machines. The other thing you'll need to do is on the slave machines, you'll need to install the daemon, which is a little script that uh, facilitates the communication between the master machine and the slave machines. When you install Octane, you'll get a little installer for the daemons. The process of installing a daemon is pretty easy. If you find the script, the appropriate one, it has the right version, I want to choose install Octane 308RC2 daemon. I'll click on this. It will open up a window, and I just need to go through here and answer the questions. There's just a few of them here, and you can use the defaults. So this is something that you're going to install on your slave machines. So in other words, the machines that don't have Maya, but do have a licensed version of Octane standalone. So if I just type these in here, even though I'm installing on the master machine, I can go through it anyways. Uh, so I'll just hit enter for the defaults here. No for out of core textures. Confirm these. Installation is finished. And then what I'll need to do is start up the daemon script. And to do that, I can go here to the app list and find start octane 308 daemon, rc2 daemon. And you can see it running here as a slave in the background. And it's launching it. So install the daemon script on each of the slave machines. Once you have that set up, you can go into Maya, load your scene, make sure Octane is loaded, set your render settings, and then go down here to the additional section and click on Network Rendering Settings. You should enable network rendering, and then you'll see a list of all the machines in the network that uh, have their daemons active and are listening and waiting for information from the master machine. Since I don't have any machines in the network, I don't see a list right here but this will populate uh, as the master machine detects all the machines on the network that have it enabled. So doing network rendering on a single machine is, of course, pointless. Uh, so you would be doing this on a number of different machines. Just to keep in mind, you don't need to install Maya on the other machines, just a licensed version of Octane standalone and the Octane render daemon. Uh, 